Goody Yalada. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this video. I'm going to start by doing an acknowledgement of country and I am on Googie Yalanji Bubu here in Wonga Beach, far north Queensland in Australia. And so I'd like to start by um, paying my respect, respects to my elders past, present and future. I'm going to share this book with you, The Power of the Blood by Maxwell White. Um, so for any of you Christians out there um, that believe that Jesus came to earth and died for our sins so that we may be set free, that we may be saved, then this video is for you. Um, and you know, I'm going to be talking about the blood of Jesus. So blood of, the blood of Jesus was spilled that day um, when he went to the cross. And so there is life in his blood. There is power in his blood. So if you're someone who prays, um, I want to encourage you to start pleading the blood of Jesus in your prayers because there is power and life um, when, you, when you plead the blood of Jesus in your praying. And so the blood of Jesus is a mighty weapon of spiritual warfare and I'm going to touch on a few key messages. I'm going to share the lyrics of a song and a few Bible verses and maybe even finish on a prayer. So thanks for joining me um, for this video. So I'm going to start with um, the lyrics of a song which is called There is a Fountain Filled with Blood and this, um, these lyrics are by William Cowper in 1772. So verse 1, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains, lose all their guilty stains, lose all their guilty stains. And sinners plunge beneath that flood, lose all their guilty stains. Verse 2. The dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day. And there have I, though vile as he, washed all my sins away. Washed all my sins away, washed all my sins away. And there have I, though vile as he, washed all my sins away. Verse 3. Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose its power. Till all the ransomed church of God be saved to sin no more. Be saved to sin no more. Be saved to sin no more. Till all the ransomed church of God be saved to sin no more. Verse 4. Ere since by faith I saw the stream thy flowing wounds supply, redeeming love has been my theme and shall be till I die and shall be till I die, and shall be till I die. Redeeming love has been my theme, and shall be till I die. So the first chapter is called Life is in the Blood. And so the Pastor White, he talks about when he prays um, for people that he will plead the blood of Jesus. And there's an example in this first chapter of how he prays for a lady whose name is Betty, and she's blind in one eye. And... Um, he basically says to her, let's just believe God together and plead the blood of Jesus. And so um, he starts praying for her and bleeding the blood of Jesus strongly and empathetically. And instantly the Lord restored the sight of her right eye. And so he goes on to explain that over a period of a few weeks, the wandering eye began to focus. And in a matter of months, she had 20-20 vision. And so that was 20 years ago and she is still healed. Um, he also then goes on to talk about how um, blood is a mysterious substance. So, you know, I mean, as a as a young child, you might look at blood, um, you know, for example, in a butcher or when you're handling meat or something, and it can be quite um, intriguing or interesting. But when you get older and have a bit more imagination, then you know you might you might begin to faint over the sight of blood, or you might not be able to handle. Um, you know the emotions that come with looking at blood and so you know um, it can have different emotional responses for people so you know you know your favorite boxer causing blood in a um, boxing match or something you know that might excite you um, in the sense that you know you know there's there's a win about to happen um, but then there's other people who might be repulsed by it and you know there's sympathy at the suffering um, of those whose blood has been shed and so it is a mysterious substance and in the bible it's got leviticus 17 11. Um, it says for the life of the flesh is in the blood and so um you know as we read a bible verse like this it's important to remember that um 
the blood that is in our veins, the blood that is in our body, um, was given to us by God. And so, you know, when we die, um, our body might stay warm for a little bit, um, a little bit of time, um, you know, <laughs> keeping us warm. But um, essentially, the, the moment we die is when, um, you know, there's no more life left in our body. And so, you know, it is possible to bleed to death. And the moment that blood is gone from the body, then there's no life left in our body. And so we have to remember that God is the one who gave us this life. And, and Jesus was the one who um, shed this blood so that we may have life and life in all of its abundance. And so, you know, blood is the physical carrier of life. And the blood of Jesus has its own unique and um, precious nature. So you know um, we all have different blood types um, whether it's pure or tainted or whatnot but you know we have a positive b positive a b positive o positive o negative a b negative b negative and a negative um, and so i'm pretty certain that and you know like pastor white says as well he's pretty certain that the blood type of the lord jesus christ um, was entirely different altogether um and you know the blood that was through his his veins was absolutely perfect since it was not contaminated by adam's sin um you know which brought sin and sickness into human blood so um you know if adam had not sinned then he wouldn't have would would not have died but by his sin he introduced death into the human family and so the human body therefore became subject to corruption and decay and death and so um ultimately to each one of us <laughs> sorry guys that was uh, a cow <laughs> making noise in the paddock there um and so yeah jesus christ had no sin in his body but um, he allowed himself to die for the sins of a sinful humanity. He died for you and I. Um, and so, yeah, we, you know, when we, when we think about um, the blood that was shed um, by Jesus, then we must, you know, also acknowledge that he died so that we may have life. Um, and so I just want to read the, the Levit Leviticus 17.11. And it says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Um, and so, you know, just keeping this verse in mind, I, I wanted to share that when you do pray, it's important to plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, darling, come here. Come here, darling. Oh, sweetie. Okay, and my little boy is just coming because he's said that he's just got hurt. So, you know what? Puppy's coming as well. Come here, darling. Oh. What happened, my son? Wait, what happened? Here. You hurt your thumb. Yeah. Oh. Can mommy pray for you? Yeah. All right, let's pray. Close your eyes and mommy pray. Dear God, we thank you for Jarrah's beautiful little hands. And Lord, we ask that you would just touch his thumb right now. And as, he, as, as it's hurting, Lord, that you will just take away the pain from his body. Lord, that you will just, you will just cover it by the blood of, your Je blood of you, Jesus. And Lord, that you will just heal him completely right now and take away all the pain. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so we've just pleaded the blood of Jesus over Jarrah's little sore. Um, if you've got any needs out there of your own, um, whatever sickness or anything that you're dealing with, I, would, I just want to encourage you that the blood of Jesus is so powerful and um, as you're praying for whatever your needs are, um, that just also plead the blood of Jesus in that prayer as well and there is power and life in that. So. We're going to leave this video there and I'm going to go and spend time with this little boy. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Say thank you. Thank you. Jumanaju. Jumanaju. Say power. Power. Life. Ma. Life. Of the blood. Of the blood. Jumanaju. <laughs>